Nope. Oh, I think it's locked. Yeah. Huh, it's locked. I thought there's a key there. Aha. Hmm, a picture of a key. Interesting. A little bit obvious, but whatever. My ninja senses are telling me to climb up on this chair. Oh gosh, please don't fall. Hmm, a real ninja lady always touches everything. <laughs> a secret button. Yes. All right then, I push the button. Is it gonna open the door? <clears throat> okay. That was easy. <laughs> All right. Time to find Oh no. Maggie. She's gonna. Oh. oh, that was unfortunate. Ow. I kind of knew what was happening. When I got Get the up. eternal happiness. Okay, Miss Fortune. Let's finish this. Get up, Miss Fortune. You are stronger than you think. What is this? You've been knocked down before. Is that Rocky? <laughs> Reference here? Did you let that stop you? <laughs> Get up, Miss Fortune. You can do it. Holy crap. Come on, Because... Girl. Because you are the little lady, Miss Fortune. <laughs> All right, girl, got this. Glitter. Okay. We did it, chat. <laughs> okay, I'm out again. Anyone here? <gasps> it's Bungie? a deer. Mr. Voice? I guess I'm alone. Ah, oh, a baby deer, so sweet. Oh no 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 no! It's oh, we're gonna kill it. We're gonna kill it. Something's gonna happen. Dream come true. I'm petting the baby deer. <laughs> Dude, he didn't die. He did not die. Can you pet him again? Oh. Well, nothing happened. That's, that's weird. Is that Benjamin's bag? Oh, yes, Benjamin? Are you around? He must be in trouble. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. Ah, there you are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? Yeah. I'm very disappointed in you. Mr. Voice. Please, stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time, and that's very sucky. <laughs> I knew I couldn't trust you. What are you talking about? Benjamin made it really clear with a picture he showed me. You're the one taking the children, and I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was yep. all a lie. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. Stop that! Then play with me. You need to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home, waiting for you. I'm sick of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. Mm -hmm. I don't want the eternal happiness anymore. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you at home. No. Tell me where Benjamin is. What do you do to him? Freaking monster. Let's see what's inside. Maybe a clue where to find Benjamin. Uh... At the end of the road, you will realize you already signed the deal. Mm -hmm. A deal, you say? Yep. I kind of figure that. Oh, is that 
Oh, thank you, Minasa, baby. I'm so cute. So cute! Oh, this is really mysterious. For a student at the University of Sinners... Technology Protector Course Three Steps Guide Three Step Guide to ex Exterminate Parasitic Beings from the Beyond Introduction As the ultra reality forms in hand with the concept of time, new realms outside of the constituted free, which is five realms of essential existence, have appeared. After the ultra war, thousands of beings were discovered as byproduct of the war. They created they created for themselves a new realm we refer to as the beyond the beyond is in simple terms a place of extreme absurdity with no logical laws of physics we can't allow such being inside the free at the moment since the foundation of our reality is based in energetic and ethical values of the ultra reality before the ultra war the beyond is still misunderstood realms we haven't found yet the peace to connect with it in a logical manner the few patterns we recognize are the behaviors of some visitors, also known as parasites. They normally enter the third reality, aka the Pandora, and seek fresh meat to lure into the beyond. And that's why we need the protectors. The protectors are the only ones with the capability of seeing the imbalance between realities and using the tools available inside the ultra reality. Protectors will help victims and guide them into senior CD. The guidance provided in this book must be followed with great responsibility. Never skip a step for each victim to protect returns to the senior CD. The protector will be rewarded with new levels, tools, and more steps to follow. Step 1. The protector must locate the victim and the parasite. Protector's parasite case is Margo. Evaluate the victim is in need of assistance. If so, then proceed to step two. Need of assistance checklist. The victim seems to have forgotten his or her identity. The victim is already dead but doesn't realize it. So we're already dead. I kind of figure that. The victim believes the illusion of the beyond are real. The victim sympathizes with the parasite. Uh, okay. Checklist of Parasite Margo deforms reality into absurdity. Parasite seems friendly, yet it lures the victim to play dangerous games, which we're doing. If shape shift into a human animal creature, it shape shifts into animal creatures. It quickly learns about the environment, language, and culture, and not an issue for the parasite. Large flocks of blackbirds will appear near the parasite. The birds are the eyes of Margo, giving him an overview of this playing ground. Using the surrounding to help the victim become aware of the parasite. The protector can, for example, write and paint simple messages in public spaces. So that's what Benjamin was doing to increase awareness. It is strictly forbidden to interact directly with the victim. So that's why it keeps running away from us. It could lead to irreversible trauma inside the victim's mind. If the parasite kills the victim, you will need to proceed to step three immediately. Step three. Prepare for direct contact with... With the what? Now I will never know. Yeah, okay. Oh, direct contact with the, the, the beyond, maybe? There we go. Much better. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, Benjamin. I think he's a monster. Who, Benjamin? No, Benjamin's not the monster. Alright, I guess I'll take the train back home. Uh, maybe. Oh, maybe, yeah. Benjamin again. Now Aware. when I look at this, I can see what Benjamin tried to Such warn, warn me about. about. Yep. He knew all along. Such mm -hmm. a boxy boy. <laughs> yeah, he keeps telling me work to... Okay, that's it, I think. Alright. Okay, I'll wait here. <sighs> waiting, waiting for a little while. Ooh. Okay. 
I'm gonna talk to myself. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, Miss Fortune, how have you been? Okay, I have this, like, weird day. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin, and then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin, and now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Wow, sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. The train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Hero! Oh! Okay. Oh gosh. Oh, it's gonna take forever. Um, coloring. Woo! Although it's kind of difficult to do. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm coloring, guys. I'm using just one pen, but it's making all the colors. I can use the mouse. Yeah, well... I don't know if I can use... Oh, yes, I can. Oh, yeah, this is... Eh, it's not going as fast. Oh, yes, it does. Wow. You guys know how much I love coloring. Wait, I can switch now? No, I'm not done. I want to color a little bit better than that. Come on now. I have some pride in my art. I'm sure Miss Fortune would appreciate. Alright. That's a bit better. Oh, wait, more? Okay. A stichosaurus. I thought it was a trinoceros. But I guess not. The coloring queen at work, yeah. I know I can change pages, but it's not quite done yet. There you go. Go. It's a bit better. All right. What? It's not the proper name, but okay, let's do the uh, that, that, the fly. Painter achievement unlock. All right, cool. Uh, I don't feel inspired. inspired. Okay. Uh. Can I get up? Hello, Hiro. I didn't recognize you. Hi, kid. Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. That's creepy. You know, I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head. I get the feeling that Mr. Voice is not who he says he is. Have you ever heard voices in your head? Consequence. I know, Be Hiro. aware of what the consequences. It's Whoa. the monster! Leave Hero alone! Let's go there! Let's go there! Help Hero. Be Hero. aware of it. Oh that's what he means. Uh, uh, no, yeah, he Hero. lost the game. Ah! Hero! Ah! I get to see Hiro again. I wonder what the monster did to him. Uh, now I have to walk all the way back home alone. This is the last time I follow a voice in my head. <laughs> if Benjamin Think? was here, he would walk with me. 
Benjamin was warning me all the time, but I couldn't see it. I wanted that eternal happiness so bad. I'm a silly little lady. That's what I am. Aww. At least I had fun at Phantasmagoria. <laughs> I'm gonna tell mommy about it. Ugh. Excuse me. I'm talking over here. Well, if that's how you treat little ladies, then give yourself a fuck. Oh! <gasps> wow. We can't see you, girl. I think you're dead. Language, language. I know, right? Huh. I'm pissed. Where's the car? Is that a Goma gun? I just love the glitter. Okay, this is not the same house. We got red lights. I like them. Oh boy. Mommy, I'm back. Hello? Mm -hmm. What's that sound? Benji? I don't think it's Benji. Congratulations, you reached the end of my game. Leave me alone. I'm looking for pas joué au premier, ça me fait trop peur. There's no eternal happiness for you. I don't even care anymore. Of course you care. You know your money needs it. It's See, it goes fast and slow. Yes, the I guess feel his voice. Right. Good, good. Ready for a new game? If I play alone. Will you give me back Benjamin? I guess I will, but only if you truly commit to the game. Okay. Splendid. You will love my new game. Did you guys hear that? Like it's like I'm still I'm still Wait, still we're back to this again? <laughs> this is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a Wait little a sparkle for you. Wait a minute. <laughs> Didn't I do this already? Yeah, we what? did. No, you're not doing this correctly. Then you say something about me dying today, which is totally, totally not, not true, true, by, by the, the way. way. <clears throat> Wait, stop talking, please. Are we going to play another game, or is this like what? I don't understand. If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. And then you say deal, and I say yes. Stop ruining this! Mm, eternal happiness? No deal! Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to... wait. What? <laughs> no deal. No, no deal. No, no. no. Uh, how about this? What if the fox was waiting for you in the hallway? If the game is about Benjamin and you leaving me alone, I'll play along. Sure, sure. I no. promise you know the way. Son of a... I have a little hunch that Mr. Voice is the monster in my closet. Huh, is this a new dance song? Yeah, that's definitely not the same music. If Mr. Voice scares me again, 
I'm gonna run and hide in here. Oh, was there... Okay, I'm just gonna play his game one last time. Oh gosh. Oh, I have no choice to run. Oh no, not again. You promised he wouldn't be like last time. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Ma, you lied to me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to play this game anymore. Fine. Let me come up with a new game to play. My not with this. New game. Knock, knock. Who's there? No, I don't want to play with you anymore. Knock, knock. Who's there? You're scaring me, stupid. Leave me alone. Get out of here. He's freaking me out, Em. What happened here? My secret spot. He won't find me in there. Uh, I'm pretty sure he will, but... Gosh. Open this door. Right now, Miss Fortune. We have a new game to play. No, I told you already. I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh, Stony, teach me how to be brave. So now we're playing hide and seek. I love that game. No, leave me alone. All right, just so you know, my game. Is the only thing keeping you alive. Is that one more of your lies? I will live forever with Benjamin, and there's nothing you can do about it. Will you please stop talking about that fox? He's been trying to take you away from me all the time. And his ugly paintings. Ugh. Oh, no, you don't talk like that about my Benjamin. You know what? I'm done with you. I want you to leave. Right now. You don't have a clue about what's going on. This is not the last game you play with me, Miss Fortune. This is only the beginning. Ah! Okay. You silly little child. Another toy for my collection. Well. your mind to play with for eternity. I don't think so. I'm sick of you being a bully. You'll see, Benjamin will come back and save me. No, we made a deal. You crossed the path, and now you're mine. Aha! Benji! Benjamin! Hmm. How did you get here? There's nothing you can do. She belongs to me. Nope. Yeah, the light against darkness. <laughs> get away, demon. No. My a little piece of trash. Nice. Okay. Nice. Is everything back to normal now? Benjamin, save me. Benji, are you around? I guess I have to rebuild this. Mm -hmm. I'll make some improvements. But first, I want to thank Benjamin. 
Anything else? Benjamin, did you go outside? Oh, another one of these. Marco is coming. Open your eyes. He's the voice in your head driving you mad. mad. Well, now I know what to call Mr. Voice. Benjamin, where are you? Ah, oh, the vase is, uh... It's still the 11th of October. So, weird. Mommy? And this is gonna be sad, I think, because she's already dead, so I don't know. Yeah, I think she, she, she killed me. Mommy! I'm back. Mommy, don't ignore me. Are you angry because I couldn't get the happiness for you? What's happening? Yeah. Mommy? Oh. This must be a bad dream. That's us. See the glitter? Is that... Oh no! What have I done? It feel better? Do I still have glitter? Oh, I don't even have glitter anymore. No. Thank you. Wait. Are you taking me somewhere else? Because I have nothing against it, but I have to talk with my mommy first. Mommy. I'm going to go somewhere else. With Bangi, okay? He's the fox that I like. I'm a little lady, you know? That's what I am. I guess I was your little misfortune for a while. But you need to find your own happiness now. I love you forever. Open the portal. Wait, stop, Benjamin. Where are we going? Benji? I, oh, I do have glitter. Ooh. Ah, oh, puppy! puppy! I'm so happy to see you again. Wait for me, puppy. That 
looks like characters in Fran Bar and uh, Fran Bow. Or Bow. I don't I don't know how to pronounce it, but I usually see Fran Bow. Huh. Later. That poor dog man, his eyes is a bit <laughs> oh. Yeah. That was a weird one too. It's the same developer, so same creator. Gotta put some sparkling here. <laughs> It's really cold. Pet the doggy. Nice. Cute. Okay. And he didn't die. Well, that's death. Achievement. Whoa. Okay. Oh, another of these. All around the thrusters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat him. Nice. Huh. I guess Mr. Voice game is over now. Mm-hmm. Benji? Death. Who are you? I'm a little lady. Miss Fortune. That's, That's who, who I, I am. am. Lady Miss Fortune? Yes, you could say that. Good. Step inside. We were expecting you. Well, That's where we sent the fox. At first. To save me, I guess. Okay, what does that do? What is this place? Okay. It's pretty sparkly. Oh. Eternal happiness. I killed my kid, but I'm happy about it. That's okay. Say what? So, Misfortune wanted happy, eternal happiness for a mother. So I guess she gave it to her by dying. Because she didn't want her in the first place. She wanted her to get an abortion. Wow, this game is messed up. But we did it! We did it! Ugh. That's very sad. Damn. That game was harsh. That game was extremely harsh. Wow. 
I, I don't think this game is for everybody else. I, I don't, I don't, that's, that game is not for everybody. Yikes forever. I, I mean, I was, I'm not kind of surprised because I know the devs, uh, because we played the other game they made, was really dark as well. And it had a lot about, you know, death and mental health and lost and pain and uh, that one was no different. Um, and it's always with kid, usually, that they portray their message. Um, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, it was very sad. I mean, I understand the imagery that the images that they portray, like, there's a lot of symbolism in this game, but I'm not sure I enjoy the, the true ending kind of harsh. I don't know. I mean, think about it. She got married to a man she kind of didn't love because she was pregnant with her. Then the dad was really bad. He was hitting the mom. The mom was drinking a lot. And it was really bad. And then the little girl never really felt loved. And now she get hit by the, her mother driving the car, probably drunk. She dies. And then all the happiness that she wanted for her mother finally happened because now that she's dead, her mom can just leave her filthy husband and start over and be happy. Think about it. It's a pretty messed up message. <laughs> Very messed up message. I don't think you can take this message in another circumstances. I don't think you can find another ending to this. I think this is what the ending is about. And when you think about it, it's freaking messed up. So take it as you will, guys. Take it as you will. But there's that would that for for this situation, there was other ways that the person she didn't have to get married. She could have just or give the kids an adoption. Please. If you're thinking about abortion and things like that, just give your baby a better life to somebody else. Like me, that can't have kids, you know? 